in a uh, really unique way there. And now it's the Black Knight in the center that's attacked. It's also the Black Rook in the corner. White's light squared bishop. Maybe hitting it can capture it in some circumstances. It's like uh, <laughs> the, basically the same offer that Mamajarov gave to Wesley. Wesley's offering it back. Well, I would think Knight C2 is the logical continuation. So Black is counterattacking the, to the White Rook. And uh, it's on the board. It is on the board. Oh, on very tense position. And there you see Shaq just simply capture the pawn. But now we are going into an end game. And I think White will start beginning to regret the fact that his bishop is all the way on C1. Yeah, the Black Rooks will try to infiltrate and win this trapped piece. Suddenly, yeah, Queen's off the board. Wesley will be breathing a sigh of relief. It feels like he's closer to safety. Still four minutes on the clock should be sufficient. Uh, the players get that one second increment later. And Marajar of Rook d5, nice way to trade, but on his own terms, a Rook trade will land a white bishop in the center of the board. Well, that will be would be very appealing for white to have a bishop on d5, but I think that black is not going to capture it. Probably bishop g4, for example, seems to be interesting with an idea of knight e1. In the later stage, only a little bit thinking about capturing the pawn on h5. Yeah, really nice move, and I think that's the fourth or fifth time, Judith, you've mentioned a black knight ending up on e1, d1, c1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice vision there. And, okay, Mamajarov has to do something. He tries to put his rook on the seventh rank. Yeah. And, and your move on the board. It's the check on f3 is incoming. But the problem is white is in a must-win situation. Any hope? There's no hope. Any there hope? is always hope. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> bishop b4. Yeah, any hope rests with his light squared bishop, I was going to say, and you have to keep that one alive. Uh, as long as you do, you have chances. Black's knight is a bit stranded. He needs to hop back into the game sooner or later, most likely via f3. But, but it's a provocation. It's a what about f5? Is white going to play knight e6 in that case? That's why bishop f3. Yeah, it's a nice move because you cannot trade bishop because the knight will come to f3 and give a check and the protection of the rook is gone. You know, wow. so you have to decide what to do with this white rook in the center of the board. I think white has no other choice than take it on d8 and then capture on f3, king g2. At the same time, g4, g4 seems to be very powerful. Checkmating ideas with getting the rook down to d1 and g1. Oh, I'm really not liking this for Shaq. Bishop f3 is a very powerful move. Great move by Wesley, and he's forced Shaq to think. Look at this head in hands now, Mamajarov. He knows that the White King is not entirely safe. I don't know if he can get away with trading rooks. And Okay, there we go. Again, allowing the rook trade, but on his terms. If the rooks disappear, at least Black cannot break through yet with his heavy pieces. Is there some rook c8? But rook c8 is coming. Yeah, skewer hitting the knight, hitting the bishop behind it. Really strong move there. Can White simply guard that knight? Bishop a3. There we go. C5 is not possible to rook d8. And Wesley immediately responding by retreating the bishop, attacking the knight. Yeah, attacking the knight, the bishop behind it. Another pin this time. And how do you defend against this? Not easy anymore. White is the one fighting for survival, let alone the win. Yeah, and still that pawn on h5 is up for grabs. And whoa, we just saw the evaluation bar shoot up in Black's favor. Yeah, it took a while to react there, the computer, but realizing that this uh, is just potentially deadly for White here. Okay, Mamajarov trying to counterattack. Feels a bit ambitious, but he's trying to break through on this f7 square. Does it work? Can you get greedy and then hide the king? I think the, the easiest square? is to capture on d5 and knight c2. Well, he has grabbed it. And uh, in other results, Anish Giri and Gukash, they did draw. So we will see two more Armageddons. And right now in this game, black is a piece up. Wesley grabbing that white knight and looks like he's surviving. Really nice move. This could be the killer blow. That white rook now forced away from the seventh rank, whereupon the white bishop would drop and Mamajarov has indeed resigned. Masterclass from Wesley. Yeah, what a practical choice he made that he did.